welcome. My name is Troy Kitch, and I'm a product manager here at Borland Software. And today I know uh, you've come to see what C++ Builder integration we have into the Delphi Core IDE. So here I want to show you more of the product progress that the team's recently implemented and, and been doing. In order to protect Borland here, I just want to make a blanket statement that there's no guarantees any of this information, the features, or the look, etc., will make it into the final product. This is for a demonstration that shows our current internal build progress within C++ Builder. So I'm going to build a simple VCL application that when you depress a button, it'll call a Hello World form. Now throughout, you'll see some of our GUI layout, the code editor, structure pane, and debugging features. So um, at this point, I want to look for the layout property. Searching in this, this is a smaller view here that you guys see. Uh, in order to record this. There we go. Now I want to change the font so we can see the text better. So I'll enlarge the, uh, the font property to 20 there. And then I'll update the string list editor um, and we'll, we'll say hello world. Okay then. Hello world. All right, now at this point, I want to move over and uh, go right to the code. So clicking into Unit 7, I'll use a keyword to export the Say Hello function. Now, Code Insight is working here, and it's in real time. So... Let's see here. Okay, this, the speed at which you're seeing everything in this demo is real time. Um, so, including the build time and code completion, this is all as fast as, you know, I have it on my computer. So, what you're seeing is what you're getting. And we'll do a try catch. Here. Okay, and as you can see, on the build up on the left, we're uh, getting a in the gutter a yellow bar, and that basically shows the changes that have been made to a particular block of code. And uh, you can also see that I you've got code folding here, so that really helps to reduce the clutter of your larger project files. Really convenient. Now over here, the structure pane is a, a new feature for our C++ Builder customers, or I should say, it's really a new way of, of looking at your code structure. Now this replaces the code browser that folks may be familiar with, and you can see I can open these up um, and see the, the uh, macros includes functions. Really it's a more powerful way of looking at your code. So I'm gonna build here the application and um, then I want to add a new project to my existing project group. And it will be a VCL Forms application. I'm going to add this to the existing uh, project so that I can basically add um, some buttons and drop some components here that's, that when I click on the button, essentially it's just going to call the Hello World uh, project DLL that I um, that I had created previously when I depressed the button. So we'll create our button click event here. Okay, and you can see as I'm typing, and I wanted to show you in real time the functions here. Look at it, you can see that it's uh, updating in real time pretty much real functions so that's nice to have that took a little bit of time code inside say hello and we'll go ahead and add project 4 okay 
build the project. And I'm going to set a breakpoint here in the, each of these units. Set some breakpoints that when we go through in building the application, we'll stop on the breakpoints. There's the form. Press the button. Hit the breakpoint. And you can look in the local variables here and really see the um, the debug inspector dig down. I've shown this before in the past a little bit. You can really get down and uh, dirty here quick. So you can see the data, the, the methods, and the properties as you uh, just want to show you an idea of what it looks like here. Okay, I'll cl close this. Now let's run in uh, until return. And we'll hit the next, the breakpoint next. And I want to point out as I hover um, the cursor over this code, within the debugger, we can see a tooltip expression evaluation. Useful, useful to see where that... Okay, so uh, we'll continue going through Hello World. I'll close this form and it will take us right into the CPU view and just provide you a look into the CPU view. And as we get rid of that, uh, okay, we'll move forward, close that, and move, remove the breakpoints within so we can just finish out. And hello world. So there's the final, uh, you know, basically what the application is all about, but you were able to see a lot of the details involved. And so thank you for joining me, and I look forward to showing you more in the future.